So the second concern of the green social policy is food. The world population is now around 7.7 .7 billion and it's likely to increase to 11 billion in 2100. The rate of population is declining but the overall population is exploding. How we are going to feed all these people? So if we look at this graph, it just tells you how the population has exploded during the recent times. So this is the size of world population in the last 12,000 years. So from in the first 11,800 years, we reached 1 billion. And from then on, in 1800, we increased to 2 billion in around 100 years. But in three, we reached 3 billion in only 40 years. And now we are at 7.7 .7 billion. So this is how the world population has exploded. UNICEF estimates that around 800 million children are undernourished and 2 billion have poor diets. And most of the children, these children live in developing countries. So what we are going to do? Should we go for forced population control? Because we have, there are many campaigns and still people are not ready to accept that more children is not the solution to their problems. Or we should go for genetically modified foods and animals. But again, there is also a concern with the genetically GM foods and animals because people think that these uh, animals and, and plants are unhealthy because they are unnatural. So this will harm their bodies and eventually lead to many epidemics. Then there is the issue of cash crops and food crops. So people around the world and mostly in the developing countries are were forced to start growing cash crops so that they can export it and gun and on foreign exchange. So they are moving from food crops to cash crops, meaning thereby that less and less land is cultivated for food crops and people are uh, need food. So either the food has to come from outside or they will starve. Then there is the uh, problem of overconsumption in many countries, many advanced countries, they have problem of over overconsumption people are dying because of uh, obesity and people are dying because of heart attacks and uh, you know blood pressure and diabetes because of uh, these are the these are the um, diseases which are linked to a middle class life these are diseases which are linked to overconsumption of food and then there's other world parts of the world where as uh, i said 800 million children had had not enough to eat then there are food subsidies in the West. So West, to maintain its culture, to maintain its followers, gives money to its uh, farmers to grow food. What happens afterwards if they can, they, uh, because they have overproduction, they sell it to outside at a lesser cost. And when we do, the, do that, the farmers in developing countries suffer because the price of the product goes down. Then, of course, there is issue of lifestyles. So over the years, we have moved from a very healthy lifestyle, healthy diets, to longer working hours, dual earner households, meaning by, thereby that there is no female mother or wife to, in home to cook healthy food. And greater commuting, meaning thereby people are spending one to two hours daily, one way going to work and coming back. So at least three to four hours in, car, in their car, sitting there driving or waiting for the traffic clock to move away. Then there is the issue of intensive farming. There is more uh, food is uh, in a very small area using fertilizer and other scientific techniques, but it results in more diseases also. Food distribution is also an issue. So epidemics are not happen, do not happen because of the non-availability of food, but because of the problems in distribution of food. Food distribution has become costly. There are supermarkets uh, which are not local. Food is coming from outside. And then uh, there, is this, there is the issue of refrigeration and climate change effects and issues related to then uh, food that is that has gone bad, and this has also lead to more food miles and food deserts. Food desert meaning thereby that there is no local food vendor 
and people have to travel to go to the supermarkets to buy food which of course have cheaper food but that food is mostly coming from outside as we look at this uh, figure the supermarkets get food from outside and then sell it to another country so lots of food miles meaning thereby food travels thousands of miles from from first from the grower to the supermarkets distribution center and from there to the another country to another city so lots of food miles which, which of course means that more costly and more environmental degradation what is required is a low carbon footprint locally used foods 